Hi, this is a demo of the latest version of the Folks PC distribution. This is the first distribution that is fully portable and can run on any rooted Android device. What you see here is Lineage OS based on Android Pi running on Odroid and to SBC. We are using the Lineage OS here because it can be set up to run rooted applications. The default distribution does not support rooted application, but that can change in the future. And you can still continue using our distribution on any future version of Android. Our distribution consists of two APKs. There's an installer APK and the desktop APK and a pre-built Debian Buster root FS called voxpcimage.zip that you can download directly from our website. The desktop APK sends Debian graphics and audio to the Android framework while the installer APK manages the installation of the folks PC image.zip file. Installation is very simple. You just have to download folks PC image.zip from our website and press the install button. Installation takes less than five minutes. We have already installed Debian Buster on this device. So let us start it now. So right now our desktop is booting and at this point it's already running. Let's first look at the CPU usage when nothing else is running. It's about 3 to 4 percent. I will just zoom it a little bit so you can see it. It's four, 3 to 4 percent of CPU usage which is pretty slow considering that we are running as under Android. We can also run some graphics benchmark. This is GTK Perf running 100 iterations. It's about 4.72 seconds. It's pretty fast. It's faster than what you would get if you ran Debian installation on this platform by itself. Remember, we are running this under Android. Let me run some basic applications. I will plug in a USB stick to this device. Both the internal SD card and external drive is shared between Debian and Android. So let us run some audio here. So this is pulse audio stream being sent to Android and Android is playing back the Pulse Audio stream. Another thing to note is that the, the mouse cursor that you see here is a Debian cursor, but you can always press left Alt and left Control to look at Android navigation bar and Android notification. In fact, you can also increase the volume of the Android setting. You can go back to Debian mouse cursor by pressing left control and left alt again. So, so be aware there are two mouse cursors. One is a Debian cursor and one is the an Android cursor. Of course, typically you don't need to worry about Android cursor because you're not looking at any notification. 
maybe just be simpler to go to Android by pressing that widget. So switching is very simple. It just is just an another Android application. So you click on this, you go back to Debian. Let's look at some other uh, application. For example, this is LibreOffice Office Suite. We also have Midori browser installed. Ben, we have a problem. Schools across the country have had I, to cut their sports programs. As you Those can see, audio is working. Tigers. I'm on a mission to help fix it. School sports were everything to me, Tony. So the browser is not hardware accelerator, so you're better off using the Android browser. Why is YouTube? So that's an Android browser running. Have the ability to see. Brings a short to me. And you can always switch back to Debian desktop as if you would a standard desktop. So, so there you are. Basically, you have and Debian desktop running as an Android application and it's completely portable that means you can essentially run on any android system of course we have a driver uh, that is very specific to a particular device but other than that everything else is very portable that's it folks thank you very much